My difference of the world, Paul the trombone is here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about an approach on how to practice. And this applies to every instrument, every activity that involves practicing. So don't go anywhere. looking at practicing it's real important to get in a really special type of mindset a very focused type of mindset I'm guilty of this as well trust me I know when I grab my instrument I just want to perform I just want to play what I know how to play I just want to sound good on it you know really though the best way to practice the best way to really have growth in whatever you're doing it could be in a sporting activity it could be in a music activity whatever whatever you're practicing really the best way to practice that I found is to isolate specific elements that you want to work on focus on those elements and work on them slow have a goal and don't get distracted it is so easy to get distracted when you're practicing because trust me I know I'll be sitting in the practice room sometimes and then I'll find myself my mind will start wandering and I'll just start doing stuff save that until the end so have a plan write out what you're gonna work on write out what you want to do what write out what you want to accomplish and then when you set your practice zone in on it completely zone in on your practice and have a specific goal and just fine-tune that goal refine that goal that's how you're gonna grow the most you know James Moody he once told me the, the legendary James Moody told me he said Paul don't practice what you know you already know it practice what you don't know it's when you sound like you're struggling it's when you sound like you're learning when it sounds like you don't know what you're doing that's when you're really learning that's when you're getting better it's so easy to just want to play what we know it's so easy to practice what we know how to do well already because we got these egos you know we, we want to impress ourselves and everyone else in the round the room that's listening to us that's why one of the reasons I like to practice when I'm completely alone with no one around and no one can hear me that's another thing Thing I would recommend is to be alone when you practice because it does something because then you're not trying to impress anyone because you're self-conscious about yourself you're totally self-conscious about yourself when you know that people are around you while you're practicing you're like oh I gotta show that I'm not like a total hack I gotta show that I actually know what I'm doing so you end up trying to make up with it by playing stuff you already know and you're not getting here you're wasting your time stop wasting your time stop wasting your time I want you to become the best at whatever you're doing so the way that you're gonna do this is you're just gonna go in with a specific goal you're gonna want to practice alone and you're gonna want to isolate the issues so let's say you're practicing this specific technique technique together. You work on that technique and you isolate that and you take all other elements out of it and only work on that, that technique. Say, I want to get my time feel better. I'm going to work on my time feel on one note. I'm not going to be doing a bunch of other notes at the same time. I'm going to work on that one note. I'm going to isolate that. It could be whatever you want. Say you're doing a sporting thing. It's the same thing. You're a tennis player. You're a baseball player. It's the same thing. You're a baseball player. You want to work on this specific pitch. You're not just going to start throwing pitches around. You're going to be working on this one pitch. You're going to zone into it with a specific mindset and you're going to really focus on that. You take a certain element and you refine that element and you slow it down and you just work on that and you don't let your mind wander. Stop letting your mind wander. Stop thinking about what you're going to be doing later on in the day. Don't do that. Don't think about what you want to be doing later in the day. You gotta get in what we call the zone. You all know the zone. So start getting in the zone. You're gonna find that whatever you're working on, if you go into the practice room with a specific goal, that you're just gonna start going like this. You are going to excel your ability. You're gonna be amazed at the difference between just saying, oh, I'm gonna go practice. Trust me, I know this, folks. I used to know people that would be like, hey, I'm gonna go practice today. I practiced 10 hours and I would be like, they practiced 10 hours? It didn't seem like they practiced that much because they, they were never really growing. They were, there was always some issues. <laughs> I never really thought that they were getting the hang of it. And then there are other people that just set aside a little bit of time, but they're super focused, super, super focused with their practice regimen. And then they just go like this. They go like this. So save the fun stuff for the end of the routine. Reward yourself with playing stuff you know. Reward yourself with performing things you know how to do at the end of the routine. At the beginning of the routine, you're super focused. You you write out all of the things that you want to work on. You isolate them and you're zoned in and you're alone. No one else around in the room. No one else that can hear you. Make sure that this is your special area where no one else you think that they can judge what you're doing. You're going to go like this. You're going to go so fast. 
Trust me. And I'm interested to hear what you all think about this. If this, I want to know how you practice whatever you're performing, whatever you're working on. It doesn't matter what instrument or what type of area of life that you're practicing. Let me know in the comments how you practice and what you find valuable. Okay. My name is Paul the Trombonist. I play trombone. If you play trombone and you'd like to take your trombone playing to the next level, I got this world's first interactive trombone method book called Trombone Exercises that will make you a great player with clickable video links to help support the content, folks. I organized it in a way that has all of the most important elements of trombone playing that will take your playing to the next level. Thousands of people have downloaded the book. If you get the book, you also get access to the private trombone group on Facebook where so many other people that are working on the material where it's a great little community where we can all help each other, all developed and all the things. And I'd like to thank the patrons for helping support these videos. And I really want to thank every single person Person who's new here wow thanks for coming thanks for being new and I want to thank everybody that's been returning oh my gosh thank you so much for returning to these videos oh my gosh it means so much if you're new here this is my buddy banana he's been around for a while and he always appreciates new people and he always appreciates returning people you're just probably the best people in the history of human civilization oh my gosh I can't even believe it wow didn't think you would see me today. Well, I'm here. <laughs> you know, it's funny. This is what I've been told my whole life, and I finally have the courage to tell you about this, okay? You can tune a piano, but you cannot tune a fish. I am a man and a little man. I am a man and a little man. I am a man and a little man. What is this? Are you there again? Oh my gosh, I'm... Oh, thanks for watching, Paul the Trombonist. Hello. <laughs>